Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. It is going to be nice to be outside later today. Lots of sunshine breaking through the clouds and with a gentle breeze coming up out of the southwest. It is going to be warm out there. I do expect temperatures to top off near or right around 50 degrees for our highs. We'll add some scattered showers to the mix, most likely midday tomorrow on into tomorrow evening. And then as we head into next week, temperatures do start to drop back down closer to seasonal averages and actually below seasonal averages as we approach next weekend. Taking a live look right now over Gettysburg still looks like Christmas as they have the Christmas tree there on the uh, square, but temperatures are in the mid 30s. and We do have a gentle breeze out of the southwest at five miles per hour passing clouds, but no rain on Super Doppler 8 live radar network. You can see we did have some flurries up towards Williamsport earlier this morning, so a mixture of sunshine and clouds, a light breeze and highs well above average, topping off near 50 this afternoon. Lows tonight will be right around the freezing mark and we'll see passing clouds thicken up as we get closer to dawn and then for tomorrow much of the day is going to be dry but scattered showers will move in midday be around with us through the evening hours and just slightly cooler with highs in the low to mid 40s. Made it to 40 yesterday after a morning low of 31 degrees. Here's a look at those winds primarily out of the south up to 12 miles per hour in Chambersburg 10 miles per hour in Harrisburg stirring up the air and that's what's allowing temperatures to be a little milder this morning compared to yesterday right now 36 in Chambersburg and also in Harrisburg as we zoom on out you can see that milder air off down to our south 50 at this hour in Dallas 56 in Houston and we have high pressure building in over the lower Tennessee River Valley and that's going to work its way to the east there are a series of storms off to our north and to the west, they will be diverted mostly by that ridge of high pressure as it scoots by to our east. So watch what happens here on the predictor. There is a cold front off to our north and to the west, but it will struggle with that breeze coming up out of the southwest. So just look for some passing clouds through the day today. Here's what happens tomorrow. We're still dry, I'd say around 7 to 8 o'clock. But as we head around lunchtime, some spotty light showers will move into the region, but they'll fizzle out as they continue to work their way to the east, and I think we'll dry out as we head into late Sunday evening. Then another wave will approach the region heading into Monday. Right now could see a few isolated rain showers later in the day on into the early overnight hours. So overall precipitation chances are low. Uh, they'll be elevated for tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. A spotty shower not out of the question Sunday night and then we'll keep the chances for a few passing showers for your Monday. But temperatures the next three days mild highs in the mid to upper 40s close to 50 degrees degrees in a few locations. Once we get past Monday, colder air starts moving on in. We're back down closer to seasonal averages with highs in the mid to upper 30s with possibly a few rain or snow showers or Tuesday. Also for Groundhog Day, then we really cool down as we approach next weekend with highs only in the lower 30s for Friday and into next Saturday. All right. Thanks, Ethan.